Hello, Foam Fighters. I'm Dr. Flux. I'm OptiMan. And today, we're doing another Pro versus Pro. And this side of the ring, we have... The Aeon Pro. And here we have the Nexus Pro, which already know about the Nexus Pro, but the question is, how does it compare to the Aeon Pro? So in this video, we're gonna find out, we're gonna see which one is better, if there is a victor or not, and where you should spend your hard-earned cash. So let's jump right into the video. So if you are new to the Pro versus Pro, what we do is we line up a bunch of areas in which we gauge a couple blasters and we kind of run down, we assign values to all those those uh, areas. And then we add, we basically give points to each blaster and then we kind of total it up. And then in the end, we'll see which one has the most points. So this particular Pro versus Pro, we're doing the Nexus versus the Aeon. These are both products from Adventure Force or also known as uh, Dart Zone. These are Dart Zone blasters that are re repackaged in the Adventure Force line. Let's talk about why, because <laughs> I originally wanted to do that versus the Spamf. Yeah. We yeah, so. So, I mean, what happened was we were going to do this review, uh, a pro versus pro video with this, the spam build. Um, however, when it came to me actually opening one up and firing it. Uh, yeah, so he got one first. He brought it over. Yeah. And when I first looked at it, I just realized, like, this is kind of a, its own thing. It's, uh, I mean, the spam, I don't even have, well, I have one I'm building right now, but... It's the Samf is built off the Falcon Fire, which is much smaller. Yeah, this is a pistol. Yeah, it's more of a small pistol. And this is more of like a retaliator. Yeah, that's kind of more of a recon retaliator type of platform. Top prime, yeah. So when we started really thinking about the verses, that would be more in line with like maybe the worker, was it a prophecy or some type of worker kit into a retaliator is more like what that is. And then once you start doing that, now you're in like a hundred dollar price point or whatnot. So is it's kind of like it's a hard thing to compare. So we know that this Adventure Force line, this Pro line has been dominating right now. So we figured a lot of people just have the simple question of, you know, what's better? What, what is up with the Aeon versus the Nexus? I mean, should I even get one? Or if, you, or if you're trying to make a decision, we're trying to basically help answer any of those questions and show that the Aeon is a pretty amazing blaster, much like the Nexus. Yeah. So. So yeah, let's kind of, right now I'm just going to go down all the areas that we assign points to, and uh, then we'll just go from there. Yeah. So the first area is price point. Now price point, we assign 50 points. And then we have build quality, which is 10 points. Aesthetics, which is 20 points. We have modability, like how ex how easily are these able to be modded, 20 points. Ergonomics, you know, how do these things feel? is uh, another 20 points. Capacity, how many rounds does the standard uh, mag that it comes with, how many rounds does it hold? So I, in this case, it's 12, so that we're just giving, it's kind of a wash, they each get 12 points. Range is out of 15 points, how far do they shoot? Not to be confused with accuracy, which is another 15 points, so that's how accurate it can shoot at a range. And then velocity is the chronograph numbers, so the FPS, and that is out of another 15 points. And then final is the functionality, in which we kind of talk about all the little bells and whistles and all the things that these can do, and we've given that another 15 points. So total, that's 192 total points that these two blasters can get in all the categories. So let's go ahead and start it with... Uh, the Aeon for price point. I'll let you talk on that a little bit. Yeah, so start off with the price point for the Aeon Pro, and uh, this we chose to give uh, the highest possible score of 50 points simply because of the fact that it's uh, this is a, a a blaster that comes with uh, a mag adapter plus a mag. Um, and if you were to go to Worker and buy the mag adapter plus a katana mag from Worker, it would cost about the same to ship it to your house as this blaster out the box. Yeah, if um, not more. If, to if ship not it. more, yeah. So that being said, I mean, it's just you're getting such a phenomenal deal. I mean, both of these blasters are great deals, but this one in particular, I think it, it shines for getting 50 yeah. points. Well, we were, uh, and also comparison to this one, which we gave the Nexus 35 points, and this is still a phenomenal deal. So yeah. if you look at everything you get with the Nexus, it's a lot. There's a lot going on here with this kit. Um, not only do they give you the short darts, they also give you long darts, which that one does not. Yes. So you get another magazine with a bunch of, with 12 long long darts. No, it's, yeah, 12. Mm -hmm. 
And then 12 short darts. Uh, you also get rail accessories. You get a stock attachment point in the back. And yeah, it's there's just a lot of stuff that you're getting for, and this, this is $50 by the way. And that one was 20, 25. 25. Yeah. So Sorry. we should probably put that out there. Yeah. Number also two. what he was saying with the, the worker mag is like, that's not even counting the rounds. Like, you know, just getting 15, getting the 12, you know, superior darts, because the darts are great. They're they're one of the best half darts I, I know of right now. Oh, yeah. And in comparison to worker, I mean, worker darts just fall apart every time we shoot them. Heads so they're always off. losing their heads. These ones, I've never seen a head come off yet. Nope. Not yet, to this point. Yeah. So, in summary, yeah, 50 points for this. And we, we spent a little extra time on this area because it's very crucial. It's very important of how cheap, both of them are cheap for what you're getting. But the price point of 25 US dollars for for that. For this and, you know, the FPS this thing hits at. Well, for, we haven't gotten there yet. But, but yes. But we're, we're just talking about what you're getting out of the package. Yeah. So okay. Out of the package, yes. <laughs> this is great. All right. <laughs> Next area is build quality. Now, they both have a they're very similar build quality on both of them. We gave this one a 9. And we chose to give the Aeon a, uh, a 9 as well. Yeah, so they're both 9. Nothing too different. We have a snoring pug. That's going to pick up on the mic. Yeah, I know it will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've been gifted with a pug. We can't move him. So if you hear snoring sounds, it's Jake. He's comfortable. <laughs> so uh, where are we at? So build quality, yeah, just straight up 9.9. Nine. Uh, next area is aesthetics. Now I'll let you speak on the aesthetic of the Aeon. For aesthetics, we chose to give the Aeon Pro a possible 15 out of 20 points because I love the way this thing looks. I'm a huge fan of SMGs and this thing is definitely small. It's tight, it's compact, and I really like the way it looks. So we chose to give it 15 out of 20 for the Nexus. Yeah, the Nexus, um, if you think about aesthetically, like this one's gonna look better because there's just, it's there's just more, more of it. Yeah. They're the same thing though. Yeah. If you, if you like, look at the profiles. Like literally, almost without, yeah. Like if, if you look at the profiles, they are exactly the same thing going on. They mm -hmm. look exactly the same. Same thickness. It's yeah. only this has more. Yep. So because of that, we're just giving this some yep. more points for how it looks. Absolutely. Out yeah, of 20 points, so we got 15 points for the Aeon, and then we have 18 points for the Nexus. So because it's got this, it's got this up here, these two sections right here, we're giving it a few points. Modability. Now, modability, you, we have checked both these. You can get in these things really easy. They're not hard to pop open, change out springs, change out all kinds of stuff. I know Luke from Out of Darts actually did a uh, thing right here that you screw this off and you can actually change the spring tension to get different FPSs. So, I mean, that that is such a quick and easy mod. You can do it like on the field at a war or whatnot. Don't see, really see that going on here, but doesn't, it's still, this thing is pretty easy to open up and change out. So it's not gonna hit it too hard, but you know, in comparison to stuff that, you know, like Nerf has released with the Elite 2.0 line, these are a million, these are light years ahead of that as far as modability. Gave them max points on that. So that's a 20 and then 20. Yeah. And then finally, ergonomics. Now this is the section that is basically how do these things feel? And so when we're talking about how they feel, but you know what I'm saying, they're the same. Yeah. So this is the same. This feeling is going to be the same. Yep. This right here is it's same. the same. If you want to shoot your blaster like this, you can do it both. Yep. Both of them. So now the question is, which one feels better, having this pump here or up here? And that's personal preference. Me personally, I prefer this pump. So I'm gonna have to say, I would give this a few more points, or a point or two for having the pump versus mm -hmm. this. Yep. And then of course the stock, which is added for strictly use. Like that's why there's a stock, to brace it to have more control. So this is, this is ergo points, this is ergo points for me. So, yeah, and this one, like Dr. Flex said, I'm normally not a fan of top prime blasters. Uh, that's something that I just, I don't, I don't really have a thing for. I'd rather turn it into a pump kit, um, to be honest with you. But on this blaster on the Ampro, I'm willing to give it a shot. And that's why I'm okay yeah. with it because it actually does perform well. Yeah, it feels great. It feels fine. And it is a strong pull. That's, I will say that a child would not be able to prime this. Um, Cause there is some there's some power in this aeon pro so because of that we gave ergonomics we gave this uh the aeon pro was what uh 16 16 and then the nexus we gave 18. yep so you know a couple, couple point for points. that point for that yeah whatever still super close mm. so the next section is capacity now capacity is pretty easy because they both come 
with the 12 round mag with an adapter. So super cool. I thought about giving this one a little bit more because it did come with a full length dart mag. So there is that to consider, but I think that's kind of more expressed in the price point. So this is just overall capacity of, you know, what you're slapping in, what comes with the blaster. And keep in mind, you can always throw in a higher capacity stuff, which you said you already, yeah, uh, right here. I actually have one with a katana mag. Oh, so this is a katana mag, and this is yeah, a it's a standard katana, and yeah, so you can get you can throw any mag in them, much much larger, and that does work in the adapter that comes with it. So that's twelve points, twelve points. Now the next area is a little bit tricky. So this is the range. Now we decided to do our range a little bit different this time. Uh, this time we, so the box claim is what, 125 feet? Uh, yes, over 125 is yeah, what it so, says in the box. So what we did is we set up the cone, put 150 feet, and then we stood at 125. Oh, yeah. And so the premise was that these things, could they effectively tag at 125 feet? And that's what we're really more concerned with. Uh, yes, if you arc these things, they will go. I think it's 180. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to come out on a limb and just say these yeah. things will shoot about 180. Oh, yeah. Uh, from what we saw. So I'm not too interested on whether or not this can hit 180 versus that one hitting 181 or 182. They both go really far. I will say we saw this go further. I mean, it did because we, we actually lost darts on this one. <laughs> yeah. Which is very rare for the field we shoot in. Usually we can find everything, but we actually lost three darts on this one. So definitely had the range. But, uh, yeah, so the Aeon. The Aeon on range, we gave it a 13 out of 15 points. Which is good. Which isn't bad. It's not her terrible, but uh, given the fact that the barrel is significantly shorter, you would expect that, right? Yeah, and I imagine the spring in this has got to be bad, bad. Yeah. It's got to be a bigger spring. I would, yeah. I mean, so this one, we gave it a 15 for range. Yep. Now, the, the real important part that we wanted to look at was accuracy. And so out of accuracy, out of 15 points... The Aeon, we actually scored higher. Yeah, the Aeon actually scored a 14 out of 15 possible points because uh, I was actually able to tag, I think, twice. Yeah, you hit me in my foot and in my head at 125 feet, which is massive. Yeah. So, And we also did our standard 30-foot uh, accuracy check. Yep. And they both did really well. Yeah. I think I was getting... I got quite a few uh, bullseyes with this one at 30 feet, which is you should expect to get very precise shots at 30 feet with these type of blasters. And then of course the Nexus on its accuracy, we gave it a 13. So just one point less than the Aeon. Uh, very accurate though for, I was expecting for the carbine, you know, this thing to be a little bit more accurate, but I was just getting a lot of weird deviations. Yeah, some of the shots are just deviating a little bit too much. Where I didn't, I didn't really see that much at all with this one. The it big, just, the biggest problem I was having with firing this during the accuracy test was actually gauging the range. It would go straight as, as, yeah. as possible. I actually needed to figure. And just so everyone knows, this is my second one. Uh, the first video we did was a different one. This is a brand new one. Yeah. So keep that in mind. So it's not like I have a lemon or something because the other one was had same accuracy issues. Yep. Because uh, we compared it to the. It, was it the Dart Zone the Dark Pro? Zone Pro. Yeah. 1.1. 1. So in the Dart Zone Pro comparison, the Dart Zone Pro is more accurate than this one as well. All right, next area is velocity. So this is the FPS, the chronograph checks. And we're going to show some footage. And essentially, the Aeon, what did it hit? We we gave that, uh, was that 13? Yes. So we gave it 13 out of 15. And that was due to this thing just hitting a lot harder. Like, I kept getting over 150 on this one. Uh, this one was very consistent at 148, so which is phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, for a blaster off the shelf, 148, getting close to 150 FPS, huge. 25 so, bucks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's just unheard of right now. Yeah. So it is a game changer. It really, it really is. is. So we gave that 14 points. To be honest, it should be 15. It should be, but... I mean, I don't know what we're comparing it to at this point. I mean, a Caliburn, which... Uh, yeah, yeah. Which is, because I mean, if you're looking at high FPS stuff, then yeah, 14 kind of is in consideration. But you know, a lot of for, the, for the general, yeah, consumer. Yeah. Yeah. But you got to think like most wars, like like our local group is 150 cap. So mm -hmm. grabbing that and just taking it to your local war, you're going to dominate. You'd be local competitive war. for 25. I mean, that's yeah. Just, I mean, yeah. at a at a normal game, that thing is just going to dominate. Yeah. So. Anyways, these are these are just very small points. So yeah, we just gave uh because we saw higher numbers over here, we're just gonna get fourteen and then thirteen on that one. On the end. And finally is functionality. So 
This is out of 15 points. Both these blasters have very similar functionality as far as like in um, the ability to shoot different ammo types and out of this attachment here, you know, we can do a rival, we can do a mega. This one, you know, obviously, and that one, we can change this out and do half darts, full length darts. So that functionality is great. The field stripping takedown ability, not so much on this one. I don't have any pins or anything I can pull apart and start getting into, so there's that. Uh, this, obviously, this is functionality of this blaster of a collapsible stock. And of course, you know, various Picatinny rail attachments. A very cool thing that OptiMan just pointed out today is they actually have the O-rings in the stock. And we've been messing with these blasters for a while now and never saw these little O-rings that are pressed into the stock that you can pop out and change out your O-rings in the middle of a, a battle if you feel performance loss because of, you know, bad O-rings. So really cool. So that's a cool functionality. Up front here, if you remove this pump, you can actually get access to pick a tenny, so you can put a different attachment point on there. As we can see up here, I've already swapped mine out for like a pump, because I like I like more of a shotgun type pump. So yeah, this is just all stuff that you can kind of tweak with your blaster for different results. Now, when it comes down to the Aeon, it pretty much has a lot of what this has, but just a little less. And so, you know, obviously it doesn't have the stock, it doesn't have the ability to change out its pump assembly doesn't have the sights, doesn't have as much Picatinny. So because of that, because of all that, we just gave this one a 14 and we gave that one a 13. So we lost, we took some points off of it because it just didn't have as much as this has for functionality. And also there's one last thing to consider. Uh, these things do not slam fire, but they do shotgun. So every time you pump, you shove another dart in there. They both do that, mm -hmm. by the way. So you could effectively do two shots and three shots, which is really cool. So and that, that's a functionality that they both have. Yeah. All right, so in wrapping up, this is out of, again, 192 points. And what did the Aeon get? The Aeon got 175 points. So 175, and then the Nexus came in at 168 points. So yeah, clearly we could see the Aeon is a better bang for your buck. So that that is a phenomenal blaster, and that price point is hard to be at 25 US dollars. Yeah. Well, I'm Dr. Flux. I want to thank you for watching this video. Please let me know in the comment section if you agree with our Victor, the Aeon Pro. Once again, I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you really want to help the channel, just spread this video. Show others about this channel. That is the biggest help right now. And as always, happy foam flinging. Whew, headshot.